Uh, joining us now, championing, championing every child every day from the, as, as is the slogan of the Wald Lake Consolidated School District's Foundation for Excellence, are their executive director, uh, Michelle Bianco, and vice chairperson, uh, Chuck Phillipson, with us now on the Megacast to talk about the organization. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you. Appreciate having you on. I'll start with you, Michelle. Uh, just give us a basic overview of uh, what is the Foundation for, for Excellence? How does it serve uh, the students of the Wald Lake Consolidated School District? Of course. Well, thank you so much for this opportunity to share with your listeners what we're all about. And it's really pretty simple. The Foundation for Excellence is a nonprofit 501c3 organization. We're a collaborative arm of the Wald Lake School District. And this school year, we are celebrating 30 years. We're marking 30 years of our commitment and dedication. And what that means is being the best resource possible for all of the students and educators and providing funds to our students, our classrooms, fostering relationships and partnerships with our district, our community leaders and businesses to provide and increase resources for our students. And Chuck can chime in there as far as our board of trustees and his civic engagement and what that means to him and taking part in the foundation. Yeah, sure, Chuck, please go ahead. Yeah, thanks. Uh, well, I've, you know, I've been uh, in and around the Wild Lake uh, uh, School District for uh, 29 years. Uh, my kids uh, both graduated uh, through the school district and uh, uh, my son had such a good uh, experience in, uh, through school that he's now a teacher himself. So uh, we've gotten everything that we wanted to when we came to the community and uh, as parents. And I just got involved too with the, uh, with the foundation. Gosh, Michelle, the, the years fly by. I'm probably going on 15 years of being a board member and uh, a chair for many of those, uh, uh, many of those years. But it's just a matter of us coming together. We've got school administrators, uh, teachers, people such as myself from the private sector in all walks of life, uh, coming together to serve on the board and uh, do what we can to help uh, put funds in the, in the hands of kids uh, that otherwise aren't provided from, uh, from the district budget. So Michelle, on that note, Chuck makes an interesting point. As, as he mentions, the budget that allocates, of course, a certain number of funds per pupil to each school district in the state of Michigan every single year, or every single school year, and that, and that varies year to year as uh, that per pupil cost is re-estimated on, on an annual basis. That only covers so much. That doesn't necessarily mean that one district versus the other is going to be able to take all those funds that they get and provide not only the uh, the basic needs of each child's education in their school district, but also those critical extracurricular activities. So for the Foundation of Excellence, uh, where does that stand in helping the Walled Lake Consolidated School District specifically provide those, those extra activities and those extra opportunities that may not otherwise be there, but are so critical to the education of children. Exactly, well, thank you so much for asking. And that's what we're here for, to increase the number of resources and those innovative, creative learning opportunities. Um, the foundation was born out of wanting to maintaining excellence in education when um, the really significant budget, cu budget cuts occurred. So um, back in the day, and Chuck was part of the board then, um, technology, uh, the foundation was very instrumental in bringing technology into the classroom in partnership with our school district with smart boards and overhead projectors. And we were um, in partnership with our district in providing that type of opportunity until our district provide, until our community approved a bond in 2013 to standardize technology across the district. And then uh, fast forward, um, our foundation again was at the helm in helping our classrooms have collaborative learning spaces. And we received through our grant, pro our grant program, again, requests for collaborative um, uh, seating arrangements, those items that were needed to foster greater um, collaboration and learning. And then with the passage of the 2019 bond, uh, classroom collaborative learning and uh, the needed furniture was standardized. So what I've outlined is that we've been really at the forefront for our educators to come to us through our grant program and request funds for what they want to um, put in place, but don't have the funds to handle that. 
And then, um, lo and behold, the district, through the approval of our um, community, was able to standardize that. Um, so, yep, we're able to uh, partnership with our educators and um, providing that innovation and increasing the number of resources through our grant program. And, and those resource needs change over time, uh, depending on the circumstances, depending on the year, depending on what's happening uh, in the school district at any point in time. And so, Chuck, uh, particularly during the pandemic, where there were so many challenges that did arise, how did, how did that change the conversation between the district administration uh, and members of the board of the Foundation for Excellence and the conversations that you were having collaboratively in planning some of these programs and uh, planning some of these fundraising efforts to be able to bridge some of those gaps that were only going to be widening or changing or varying in some way because of the because of the circumstances of COVID-19. Yeah, that's, you know, great point. I mean, we kind of, you know, those uh, first few uh, meetings, we just like most, you know, you kind of circle the wagons and say, OK, what do we let's let's protect what we have. Let's uh, revisit and make sure our mission is strong. And uh, we just did just that. But uh, through Michelle's hard work and research, we're able to not only make a few changes more specifically with the types of um, of grants we are going to make, but sort of redirect them a little bit too, so we can be the group that can handle that for all the, the nuances that were occurring. And it was really uplifting to see how strong we came out of that. And the community was uh, very supportive as well. They might have had monies earmarked for some a uh, specific project, but we were able to reach out to them. And uh, we got some uh, pretty impressive donations that we were able to help out uh, within the classroom. And uh, Michelle, perhaps you can give a couple of specific examples okay. of how that, uh, what those uh, items were. Yes, most definitely. And um, yes, uh, Chuck provides a tremendous uh, and sincere uh, thank you to our community and district in remaining in partnership with us. Um, student literacy is critical. And during that pandemic, um, you know, books were flying off the shelf to get them into the hands of our students at home to keep them um, um, reading and learning. So through our grant program, we've been able to help replenish classroom literacy libraries. Um, social emotional learning is huge during this time. So again, through our grant program, we've been able to provide needed resources to our educators to address those social emotional learning needs of their classrooms and their students and help our educators um, hone in on what they need to do to best help their students. So I point towards student literacy and social emotional learning being huge items that as a board we have addressed with our district. And so, uh, Michelle, expand on that point, if you will. Uh, you mentioned literacy, uh, student literacy, as being one of those critical points that the, the school board, that the school administration, and that your board as well with the Foundation for Excellence uh, have been focusing on uh, of late. What are some of those efforts that have been put forth by the foundation's work to help support student literacy, especially as we've seen a little bit of slide during the pandemic with all the changes in education that have happened and, and those uh, different obstacles and roadblocks that have had to be had, had to have been navigated by our students. Well, thank you so much for asking about that. Um, we are in the midst of our annual grant program, and um, in the next couple of weeks, we will be presenting those awards to our teachers. And I guess I'm ready to tip my hand that um, out of our grant funding for this year, we will be providing over eighteen thousand dollars in grants um, to support literacy help put more books in the hands of students. And I'd like to also um, bring to the attention of your listeners that within our annual grant program, we have the Classroom Library Literacy Program. Um, this is the second year that um, we have been going forward. It is really born out of our educator who retired in 2020, Lori Burke, um, wanting to remain committed to student literacy and providing a donation to help us get more books in the hands of the students specifically of diverse authors and themes so students can see themselves in, in the books that they are reading and to be engaged. So um, that is a recent um, addition to our grant program. And we're very proud of that um, partnership to have these added funds to make a difference. 
We're joined by Michelle Bianco, Executive Director of the Waldley Consolidated School District Foundation for Excellence, as well as their Vice Chairperson, uh, Chuck Phillipson, on the Megacast. Learn more information by visiting the Foundation for Excellence's website at wlcsd.org slash FFE. That is WLCSD for Wild Lake Consolidated School District dot org slash FFE. Learn more about the programs. Look, learn more about how you can get uh, involved with the 501c3 nonprofit organization as well. And so, uh, Michelle, tell us about your 17th annual t tuition expedition uh, as well. There's a 50-50 scholarship raffle that is uh, currently on ongoing. How much are raffle tickets and uh, where do these resources go? How do they help our students in Walt Lake? Yes, thank you so much for asking about um, our tuition expedition 50-50 scholarship raffle. It is a prime fundraiser for our foundation. Tickets are $35 each and can be purchased online at wlcstickets.com. The um, proceeds will go towards uh, supporting our annual grant program. Um, this year, our grant program in total will be awarding over $36,000 and it addresses, as I've already uh, provided information with regard to student literacy, social emotional learning, um, special education, um, really every aspect of learning within our uh, classrooms. So our tuition expedition, as you said, is our 17th annual. Um, it's in partnership with our community and our district to purchase our tickets. And gosh, we would love to have everybody get on board with us um great odds as only a thousand tickets will be sold and it's really a chance to win big and provide tremendous support for our district and you can learn more information by visiting their website at wlcsd.org foundation that's wlcsd.org foundation or slash ffe both of those will, will redirect you to the website, uh, to the specific webpage on the Wald Lake Consolidated School District's website for the Foundation for Excellence. We're joined by Executive Director Michelle Bianco and Vice Chairperson Chuck Phillipson on the Megacast talking about the Foundation uh, for Excellence. And so uh, what are some other ways that people can get involved, uh, Chuck, if they want to uh, get involved with the Foundation for Excellence, whether they are current parents, uh, former, uh, uh, former district parents, uh, alumni, or even uh, currently just living in the area? Well, that's, you know, that's, we're a very active board and that's where we really um, love the support. Whether you're someone who's been involved in the past uh, with organizations, we'd love to have you. Maybe you've got a little bit of time because now that your kids are out of grade school and you've been uh, in the classroom helping, you can help a little bit more behind the scenes, but again, in a very important role. So if you are a, a retired administrator, if you're an educator, uh, if you're still working, um, uh, we'd love to uh, have your participation um, as a board member. Alternatively, we can would certainly love to take on uh, uh, any type of donations that you have. Um, those donations get put to great use. We talk about the grant, grant program, those grants are we we they're really started from inside the school uh each classroom and then uh maybe a teacher administrator sees something that's not in the budget that they need something that they feel strongly that they can help the uh, kids in the class and they submit these grant requests we review them as a board the other thing we do is uh make sure they are consistent with what uh, the school district itself is uh, uh, trying to accomplish, make sure that we have a, a parallel goal there. And then that's how those funds are then uh, granted back into the classroom. So it is a coordinated effort with uh, teachers, administrators, us on, on the, uh, from the private sector, parents. So uh, yeah, we uh, would really love the support in any way you can help us. Uh, well, well, Chuck, thank you very much. Michelle, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, before we let uh, you go, anything else that either of you would like to say about the Foundation for Excellence, uh, its programs, or how people can get involved? Yes, well, um, as Chuck was just identifying, um, what is really so great about the Foundation for Excellence is your involvement is really widespread. It touches every classroom, every grade level. Um, nine municipalities, 55 square miles in our wildly consolidated school district. So lending a helping hand to the Foundation for Excellence is really uh, one way of having a, a widespread impact. 
Um, we not only are very proud of our annual grant program, we have the Schumann Family Performing Arts Student Grant Program. We have a fifth grade camp scholarship program to help get kids to fifth grade camp at our Wild Lake Outdoor Center. Um, we also join our district in our Teacher of the Year recognition. Um, so we are really about um, supporting all areas of education. And if that speaks to you, um, of course, I would see why it would not because um, gosh, we're all stakeholders in education because um, our students are our future leaders. So I really encourage you to reach out to myself, a board member, check us out on our website. Um, we're a friendly and great group of people to work with. Michelle, Chuck, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you.